Hello. Now, when you order when you order an old car or an old classic car, you kind of get used to being stopped in various places you go, people talking about the car, asking about the car, etc. Normally it happens in supermarkets or petrol stations. One of the cool things though is if you own a cool car, you sometimes get asked to help people out with them and turn up and do a bit of a, a do a bit of a video clip with them all. But even cooler than that, when you own an iconic, desirable 60s muscle car like this. My 1968 Dodge Georgia. Now what a cool car this is. Look at the lines down the side of that. How cool is that? And of course, the further back you go, it just gets even better. And that's the view from behind. I mean, what more do you want but a cool view like that? I mean, it's also surrounded by cool cars. It's the coolest British car ever, parked next to it. But this, this is the main one. Now, as I was saying, when you own cars like this, interesting things happen, exciting things happen. And one of the most exciting things that happened recently with this little car here was... ...being asked if I'd use it in a music video, or more correctly, being asked by a, by a group if, I wanted, if I'd let them use it in their music video. Now, I was asked, oh God, it was a good few months ago now, I was asked by a, a lead singer of a, of a very popular band if I'd be willing to let them film my car in uh, for the release of one of the latest videos with a new single. I mean, obviously I said yes, who wouldn't? So anyway, back in the summer when it was hot and you could wander around and enjoy yourselves and it was light at night, we filmed a sequence for a video for a band called Wild Thorn and their latest release, Hurricane Queen. So it's all been done now. They've released that on the market, uh, so it's on YouTube as well, so you can see it on there. And I've just had the message a few minutes ago from Ash, the lead singer in the band, to let me know that the video had gone live. So on the back of that, I can now put this video out. Now, I've been waiting to put this video out for a while. I did ask Ash for permission to do some behind the scenes filming. I didn't get many shots because it was a busy night at Millie's and we're filming in between customers being in and cars and bikes turning up, etc., as usual. But uh, I did get a few shots to put on. And Ash has also very kindly given us permission to use one or two of the clips from the video in my video here today. So you're gonna say that I'll leave links in the description to Ash's video, So, or rather I'll leave links in the description to the Wildthorn video. So after you've watched this, you can go and see the video on there. And uh, obviously you'll see what the footage actually came out like once it was filmed. But as usual, with any behind the scenes filming or with any filming of an actual video, it's never all done in one take. So it was multiple takes being, uh, being filmed at the time and I didn't manage to catch some of them on camera. So. Some of the clips I'm going to put in here, now these are the first clips you're going to see, these are the clips from when I was there filming behind the scenes. Now obviously I couldn't get too close because I didn't want to get in the way of the videographer that was filming at the time for the video. So I stayed in the background and I'll just talk over them because there's no sound on there because obviously the filming going on and there was conversations going on amongst other things while we were outside filming so you, you wouldn't heard much but there wasn't a lot of talking being filmed for the actual Wildthorn video at the time either. Now in this first clip you can see Siobhan, the lady who starred in the video as uh, driving the charger around, you can see her walking out of the diner, uh, all this was filmed at Millie's diner by the way, but in the first clip, you, in this first clip you can see Siobhan walking out of the diner towards the charger and then actually getting into the charger and preparing to drive off. I think there's a, a clip in the actual video of her starting the engine as well before she left. Now this clip's the videographer just getting some uh, what's known as B-roll of, uh, of the charger just to sort of fill, use as um, infill in the video to highlight what the charger looks like and, uh, and, and he's getting all the right angles of it just to add into the video. And this one, uh, as you'll see in the video when you go over and, uh, and you watch the uh, the Hurricane Queen actual full video, you'll see in this uh, in this clip here, this is just Siobhan walking towards the camera, making it look as though she's walking towards the car, uh, I would have thought, in the way it's filmed up, or the, or the way it's um, been uh, edited and, and put into the video. And then these last two clips are actually taken from the video that's live on the Wildthorn channel now, and uh, it's just footage of the car driving. I think it was one of its, um, well, the first one's it leaving the diner, and the second one's it's um, driving along the road back towards the diner. But what a fantastic experience it was. So hopefully, some of the behind the scenes that I've linked in, in here and shown you in here and talked through, hopefully that's uh, enough for you to make you a little bit inquisitive and get you to click the link in the description down below to the Wildthorn video 
and go and have a look at their video. Give them some love. Um, it is rock music, so if you're into rock music, I mean rock music, iconic American uh, muscle cars, what else do you want in a music video? But go and give that a look, give that a look and uh, see if you enjoy that video. If you do, like the video, share the video, obviously subscribe to the channel if you like rock music and you like the kind of music that Wild Thorn are putting out and uh, just comment on there saying that you've seen links to their video on my video and obviously on my channel there hasn't been any music playing because obviously copyright issues uh, I don't know uh, I don't get a copyright strike so the actual music you'll hear in full on the Wild Thorn channel. For now though from me I've got work to be doing, I've got garage to busy sorting out, and I've got cars to sort out and obviously it's going to start getting dark soon so I need to get a push on and get everything done that I'm busy filming elsewhere today so I'll catch you in the next video. Bye for now.